I, I, I start, I think, from this side over here. Yeah, as I said, everything starts from, from small to, to bigger. And I think to start with is uh, writing articles. Writing articles about uh, a field of interest gives you the occasion to think about it. You have to write it so the, peop the reader understands what you are conveying and regarding the spiritual teaching you don't start giving uh, lectures from the beginning. This is a longer process. You are writing a lot of articles, and then you make, perhaps in a, in a small group where you are, you uh, give a presentation, and then you, uh, you, you know how it, uh, the result, and then you, you know or, or realize, oh, this hasn't been as, uh, as good as uh, I wanted to. And so it's a learning process. And I'm actually, I'm not used to talking in English, of course. I make my presentations in German. That's, that's more easy also for me and flowing. And so he, here in English, I have to search for words. And now I have, I have not <laughs> followed my, my script. I, let, I, I prefer actually not to read, read down just the script, but during speaking, something comes in my mind and uh, I, I, I use this also. And so it's a, it's a learning process. There are talents from birth who are, have a rhetoric a brilliance and so, uh, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not this person, so I have to write down in case, in case I, I, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah? Aha, the, yeah, from the Om. You mean from the Om? Yeah. The, the, the quote from the Om. Yeah. It's a quote from, from the Om. Yeah. Poverty. Was, mm -hmm. it, mean, it means, it's actually summarizing, if you are lazy, don't look into the future, have no, no food stored, like the ants are doing, they are, they are preserved. They, uh, they look into the future, they, know, they don't know that their winter is coming, they are gathering food, and so, so the human being should be prepared to what's coming in the future, not just idle around, sitting there and, and wait for the roasted ducks to fly into their mouths. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh. Emilia? My brother and my sister are into Figu, but I, I, I'm just like, I don't know much, although we can try to tell me to, to read up. But I, I just have a question about their planet. Um, is there, are there, is there only one race on their planet, or is there, is there are there racial variations like here, where there are different cultures and Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of information, of course. There is the universe is so big and so huge. There are countless civilizations on quite a lot of us, but of course there are much, much more uh, planets where no life is. 
no life exists, of course, but there is a, a countless number of civilizations and human races, all kinds of shape, and so yeah, and uh, but um, there are animals, there are plants where only animal for animal life forms are living, no human life forms, or plants where only only the small scale t uh, bacteria living, depending on the and the evolutionary development style or, the, or situation of the planet. For instance, the, the Pleiades, the Pleiades in our night sky, they are much too young and there is no, no life form over there. But uh, there is a huge amount of human beings spread over the universe and there is also there are also other dimensions, actually seven dimensions where other universes like us exist, and which are even more have even, some of them even more civilizations than this this one. Yeah, done. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah, the the uh -huh. yeah, the play the play on. They have more than one planet. Their populations are growing, uh, living are living, and they have different people on their planet also, not just one. Like here on Earth, we have Asia, Africa, and so they also have uh, different populations. Yes, but era the the planet where Pta and Semias and all these. Uh, are coming from the most most of these 60 persons with Billy has so far had contacts. These 60 people, most of them are coming from Era. The planet is called Era. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just uh, you gave some information which we've never heard before that there are seven dimensions within this creation. Yeah, that's a uh, rather new information. Rather, the, like our uh, crea creation, it's not the same like the universe. I have to say, to say because uh, the universe actually, when we are talking of the universe, that's the fourth belt of the seven belts of creation. Creation is the whole building, and in the the seventh, the seventh of the spiral equite. Um, uh, structure structure is you know, is uh, is the universe and where all the black holes and the planets and uh, galaxies and the, and the life forms exist and uh, actually there are seven of these universe dimension and the Pleiadian live in another one a fraction of a second. Uh, beyond beyond actually our dimension. So you will never see from our universe, we'll never see their planet because it shifted. It shifted in time and space. Is that the, the round side yes. Mm -hmm. In our round side yes. We are living now and our ancestors were uh, connected with the Pleiaren and they moved over to their Raumzeitgefüge, Raum, uh, um, space and time configuration. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Um, I mean, so, from a Christian point of view, uh, in the beginning was the breath, the word, whatever. It, it didn't say thought. In the beginning was the thought. No. So where is thought coming from? Thought. Thought. Think, think, thinking. Thought. Thinking is not different than thought. I know where I go. I got a copy of where thinking comes from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thinking, thinking requires a brain, and as long as there is no uh, brain with the capacity to think, then thinking is not possible. This means also that there was a big bang at the beginning, and then life formed, plant life first, when there were solid, solid planets cooled down, and then floral life was uh, developing, 
and from this flora, floral life, then animal life developed and ultimately from the one cellars up to human beings, uh, the human beings developed and there are also some animals that can primitively have thoughts uh, and they have a brain to think and to learn th certain things but uh, you need you need uh, consciousness for thinking. So my question was where do st thoughts start from? I, I have a map of all those different ones so I'm looking for... But I, I understand thought, you mean thought, uh, thinking, thought... Because you said process starts with thought, then it goes into your emotions. Ah, uh, yeah. Each, soul. yeah, well, with your thinking, you are, you are triggering your feelings. It's not the word, word, other way around, because with your thought, you produce your feelings, and you also produce what you are doing. All actions are triggered by a thought. This, this, I mean, even some psychologists, they know it, it, the feeling comes first, but the fact is that we have the unconsciousness, the unconscious part of our consciousness, and this is a fraction of a second. This is quite like a sensor that um, can trigger feelings even before the thought comes into our conscious awareness. And therefore, therefore, it's always a thought at the beginning, and then the feelings. But of course, feelings and actions also lead to other thoughts. If you you know now, I'm 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 heated, I'm angry, and then you realize if you are working on yourself, we are ah, I'm getting angry. What's the reason for it? And then you slow down and uh, uh, look at yourself, why have I become angry, and so, and then you're thinking, and so slowly you, you get down your feelings again, you go calm, because you are controlling, get control of your thinking. So, to play out that one question as to when extraterrestrial species come here, and they drop off their DNA into the different eggs here, animals and mammals, then they make a hybrid. So where are the Pleiadian, the Aaron hybrids stationed on this earth? I want to go to that village or those villages. Uh, they don't make hybrids, the Pleiadian don't make hybrids. That's not their uh, way of doing things. But uh, their ancestors had, have made, have made uh, uh, combinations of animal, uh, human form, like uh, uh, like uh, a, a head of of a, of a bird and a human human body and like this. But uh, these were experiments. But this this happened uh, a long time ago. But the Pleiadian don't do any of these experiments. And there are, they have no stations and factories here on the planet where they, 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 it would be stupid to do this because... Uh, so they're, they're more or less not in the material world, they're sort of like angels somewhere up there. Yeah, angels, uh, an angels do not, not exist, but of course in the universe there exist human beings, very light ones, which can fly. This exists in the universe like there will be human beings with three eyes, perhaps four eyes, four arms, ten fingers in one hand, and so all kinds. We cannot imagine everything that, that exists. But uh, no, in uh, the Pleiadian are not doing anything like this. They, they just give information to us, to the Earth, humanity, but they don't interfere. They don't interfere. No. Mm -hmm. no. There's no reason for it, for doing that, because humankind is responsible for everything we do. If you are, if you are uh, destro destroying our planet, it's our fault. 
you you cannot you cannot uh, prevent you cannot remove false behavior of another person and the prayan cannot remove take away our idiotic behavior as a human hum, humanity to destroying the planet through our population it's the co uh, law of cause and effect we have to we have to take our fate which we self made ourselves and so probably learn but uh, history shows that it's a long process before human humankind will learn from the false ways we are going into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, there have been several times, eight times actually, there have been emigrations here by bigger groups of uh, over 100,000 groups uh, of people, and some of them have died here, and their state forms are bound now here. And actually, science, science developed because of these individuals with an extraterrestrial spirit forms, it were these people who are brought, who have brought progress in the last 200 or 300 years. It was these uh, people with extraterrestrial spirit forms that were um, until the, the 90s of the last century who were received impulses from the Pleiadian to speed up progress. Because uh, if this wouldn't have been the case, we would still stand perhaps uh, inventing the first uh, motor motor or automobile automobile we, progress wouldn't have been so fast if they would not have this interaction and this interaction was necessary because uh, billy's mission because billy's mission it was very important that the internet is uh, developed so this time he can write his books unchanged in original form and spread over the world all the old prophets could not do this because on the one hand the majority of the people could not read they could not understand that the prophet said they misunderstood most of that what he if uh, if you imagine when Billy spoke about Aratatasat or something like this with his disciples and his seven, 17 disciple nurses, there were 17 women and 12 men in his time, he had no word for consciousness, for subconsciousness. All he could say is spirit. Spirit covered everything that we are now able to specify. In explaining, we can talk. Uh, this is the central consciousness. This is the spiritual consciousness, spiritual unconsciousness, spirit, uh, the material consciousness, and unconsciousness. All these factors we can talk about the psyche, about thoughts, feelings. Not a, a word for feeling was also did not exist, or emotion. The difference between feelings and emotion, he could not not explain. And then uh, all these disciples, just one could, could write of them, the, the author of the Talmud Imam, and all the other ones he heard. They were not all the time together with Immanuel, sometimes these couple of persons, then other ones. They had a, a very limited information body of, body of information available, problems to understand, and they were were saying it to scribes who wrote down and these scribes made what they understood. It's just telling others and the other person speaks other <laughs> recalls everything to another person and so and so the falsification of Christianity was really occurring at its beginning, the first hundred years. Everything went went uh, into falseness actually. Yeah. So when did Billy's spirit form actually first uh, come to this planet? This planet, uh, uh, at least 389,000 years ago, 
I think. I think. And he stayed at the, the spiritual. And it stage. stayed, yeah. perhaps not the whole. No, oh. not sure all the time. But he returned as a human being and died here again. I, I wouldn't. I cannot. Be, I cannot surely assure you that he stayed all the time here. It could have been that he, in the meantime, he was uh, another planet in, in, on, on the Pleiades, and then flew back with another group that came here and then died. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so, so the last time that uh, the spirit form would have come here would have been, you know, the most recent time? Yeah, certainly 13,500 years about this. It, but has been in between to the 389,000 years. I, I I have no uh -huh. information. Oh, so so this, so I see so 389,000 years ago was the first time that he came here his spirit form, and then as in Yeah, and then in the meantime, there we have no information. But I I could very well be that he went with the back and, and then had another uh, another mission to complete the now for the last time on this planet, yes. And then the last time was 13,500 Yeah, years. around this time, yes. That the spirit form came back. That uh, the person with the spirit form within enlivening him came back to Earth and died here. And this bound, of course, uh, yeah. Yeah? The different races we have on this earth, did they come from other planets? Yeah, uh, the Chinese and the Japanese, yes, for instance, uh, are coming here and uh, some uh, parts of the, the white race also and some black. There were um, also some black people coming to earth. And it's it's called also the red red people, red people. And so there were um, different locations. There were extraterrestrials coming to Earth, and then interbreeding, intermingling uh, with with human beings from from Earth. Yeah. But I, so they, they did not all develop here. Uh, the, the the majority, of course, from these eight point nine billion today, the majority is originating here and about 500,000 if I, I remember correctly about 500,000 have uh, an extraterrestrial origin or there were also some some uh, people coming from Mars and from Malona Malona where was destroyed and the asteroid rebelled was the result of it and so uh, there were refugees also from these two, these two planets. So there's also. So those, so those would be in addition to the 500,000, would they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sorry. You. Uh, you are. Uh, what are you doing for him? I just met him also. I invited him in. Ah, so, yeah. So, my question, 2.7 seconds, I haven't really read it. That was a duration of my question. Yeah, 2.7 seconds is the, is the, the duration of, the, of, the, of present, present time. That's an information from his fault. Here's a game later, so whether 200 years back, Yeah, as we terrestrial population made or, or 
not all of, of, of uh, the whole population of this planet, that the, the progress was mainly technically, uh, actually the mental or consciousness-based evolution. It's, it's uh, delaying way behind the technical, the technical development and, and progress. But I'm not sure if you uh, are you asking like something like this. Is your question? To me, the numbers are too hard. I think I can't. In our culture, pop culture, North American culture, TV, movies, westerns, news, everything backwards disappears after a couple hundred years. Ah, you may, you may, you mean the duration of the present yeah. time? So, so that number. No, 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 that's not. Present is, is uh, the duration of your being, coming aware of something, realizing it. This is actually the, and this is, this is a Durchschnitt, it's an average. Some people need more, some people need less, but this is the average time of the present time. But you mean another present time? You mean present uh, uh, historical, uh, historical time? But it's not like this. There is the past. Past is everything that has happened. Future is everything that has not happened. And in between, there's the point where you, where your attention, your awareness, you are living actually into the future out of the past. It's like a waterfall flowing down. Over there, there comes the future to you, and beneath is the, the past. And the waterfall, the height of the waterfall is 2.7 seconds, actually. And this has to do with, with thinking, with being aware, and not with uh, today, today. You could say today is the present time. This is another thing. That's, uh, that's just uh, one day, and it's not the same like the real present time. The real present time, actually, it's something like uh, if there were no human beings, there would be no present, and no past, because the animals. That you need you you need to have thinking capacity to realize yeah. that. I have here the original. It's in German. I have to translate. And they were talking about the present, the present, and uh, and Svart said regarding the Earth. It is to say that the present on the surface of the of the. Earth's surface, according to terrestrial time determination, Zeitbestimmung, was exactly 2.67778 seconds. It's the duration between the past and the future, whereby this time of the present, this present time, has to be calculated according to that time duration where, while in, in the normal case, the human brain is capable to, to start a, um, a, a conscious concentration regarding uh, uh, some, some topic. This time of building up the concentration is changing depending on the mental development of the person, of the terrestrial person, just as also the this 
duration of the point 2.67778 is also changing depending on the downfall of material from space onto the Earth, because if the, there is more and more material coming on the Earth's surface, this has, uh, has to do with this, then also this, uh, this value is changing. And so this changes the gravitational force, and through the collision with meteorites and the, the fine matter coming down from the from the, from space, the Earth becomes heavier and heavier all the time, and e each year uh, uh, about thousands of tons. This means also that the present time is depending on the gravity of the planet. And from this you, you, you can realize that there are all kinds of uh, interdependencies that we do not yet know on this planet. And, but actually, this is also an information that we cannot, we just can take notice that this information exists, but actually doesn't help us much in a way in our life. But we know, ah, if you want to know our thinking processes, then we have to consider, ah, and we can observe ourselves if we hear something, how long do we react, how long do we need to think with our thinking, react to, to an information that's coming out. And then we can realize, oh, I am a slow thinker and I am a fast thinker. And so then you, you see, you in, within yourself, you are your present, pre your present is shorter or it's longer than the, than the average, average uh, value, value actually. And here I, I see in my notes, I see there are um, from all these um, Pleiadian ancestors that came to Earth um, between two million years ago and um, uh, about 389,000 and, and, and later. These were a total of 1,151,882 persons, human beings, that came here. And from these, all of these, about half of it remained here. This means that they died here. This means that uh, from their ancestors, 575,000 spirit forms are bound to this planet, and about half of these are incarnated now. You could, and you should also know that the part, some of these um, extraterrestrials that came here were criminals. They were not all banning, banning uh, human beings because they had the choice to come here and help here or go to prison. And so, and so, uh, and some were idealists, 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 and so, uh, yeah. And so you have, uh, you should not, uh, you should not put all these extraterrestrial, originating people on a pedestal. And so, and this is also something that actually it's not I important because you yourself, it's it, what really matters is what all of us here as individuals are making from our life. That's, that's um, the, the really the crucial and important thing that we are doing here, that we are taking our consequences because it depends, as I, I, I repeat myself, it depends really on, uh, on the individuals that something is happening and, and changing for the better. Um, yeah, you, you yourself, um, are you in your consciousness and your spirit have been to the teaching spirit? My spirit form is, uh, I know that I have one. I don't make a thing, I don't think about its origin. I just live my life and learn and so uh, 
I have some information received about, about some, a former personality, and it ju it's just a name, I don't remember, and so it's uh, actually it's useless to think about the past because uh, I'm living now, I have no memory, conscious memory about past lives, and uh, so I, I'm doing what I can. Okay, your spirit is very intuitive. My spirit form is, uh, is what it is. Uh, <laughs> I have a spirit form so I'm alive, <coughs> because if the battery is gone, the spirit form is the battery, okay. then I, I fall down here and could be in the next second that I'm dying. Could be. Then that this would be interesting. Then it will surely be soon on, on Facebook and, uh, and yeah, uh, just on Facebook, but not on TV. I said, so, how is the emission going right now? What can we expect in the near future? Uh, the mission is going on quite uh, not bad. Uh, I have another number. Perhaps I uh, so I don't remember where I told all this already, I have a look here, because just recently we got an information, uh, I think that two, uh, from May of this year, 29th of May this year, the Playar did uh, make, uh, they analyzing quite a lot more than we know, and the, obviously uh, upon Billy's uh, question, they made an analysis of how many people are doing the peace meditation on this planet. Not every time, not all of them, but they are uh, endeavoring or, or struggling to, to perform the peace meditation. These are 37,486 persons already, but compared, of course, with the 8.9 billion people, it's a, it's a small number, but you see, the test been started in 1975 with, uh, with a couple of human beings in Switzerland, in, in Hinville, and now it, it's, it's growing. And also, uh, this number, I think, it has been published, I think, in the contact uh, report, uh, the, in the block 15, in uh, October 2016, two years ago, was there were 21. 1,461 persons in 116 countries who were um, have decided on our living for implementing spiritual teaching into their lives. So it's, a, it's, it's growing slowly, like the core group, we are all, also uh, growing very, very slowly. It's a slow process on the, on the future, but the future is, uh, I think, uh, it's a snowball, a very long time of snowball growing bigger, hundreds of years, hundreds of years, uh, because the, the religious forces are so strong and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and slave, and slave, the old days. What you said about the length of the present moment. Um, I did a, a short calculation on my, my phone after you said that it was 2.7 two seconds, and I calculated that that gives about 16,000 present instances in a single day. Um, uh, to, to try to make that knowledge more useful for myself, um, do, do subconscious um, attention bring or, or thinking something else subconsciously or unconsciously, such as when digesting something of the, the spiritual teaching, does, does this follow that same um, time span? If, if, a, if a thought takes 2.7 Seconds. Does that also include all of the subconscious? No. Kind of no, no, you cannot use this for the. 
studying spiritual teaching is, is an, another process. It means thinking, it's a, a many, many thoughts, pondering, pondering it has nothing to do with the, with the present. It's just because the present is it's like a river, it flows all the time. It's, it's, it's a flow, you cannot, you cannot um, say here is the, the middle of the stream because all, all, everything, it's a flow of things. And learning and studying the spiritual teaching is a process. So you have one result after the other, one realization. Uh, you have a realization, then you study more, and then you can build, connect this realization, this product, this result with another one. You can combine, then you build, you, on this you build other realizations or the learning factors and so it's a, it's a never-ending process but it, of course the, the present has to do you learn you learn in the present you, you the thought comes to your awareness from within from the subconscious and then you, you think, but that, that as the, always the next comes and comes, and so and so it's a flow of your thinking. It's not a, you cannot use this uh, for, uh, for the results. It's just like, uh, like in this, if you type in the, in the computer, you have the screen there, at one instance there is this letter, then you're writing, there is another letter. All the time, all the time the picture is growing, it's growing, while you write, you are in the present. When you hit, hit the, the, the key, then it's the present, and then this is gone, then comes the next letter. And so that's an analogy, uh, perhaps that could be helpful. Uh, that's, that's the computer, and the computer is very fast, it will appear. Yeah, that's, but this is, uh, you cannot take this so uh, specifically. You can type r faster. Or, 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 or not so fast, and then this is the analogy, but not the, 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 what's behind, what's down there in, in, the, in the machine. That's another, another thing. In this analogy, of course, in the computer, that's, it's important that, that the uh, speed of the, of the processors. If this, then, um, you said as well that This has to go with the gravity, gravity of the planet and not with the human being. Yeah, and I think this is also, uh, I think it doesn't make sense to go into this detail because uh, we, since we don't have the knowledge, the detail about this, we cannot calculate it and so it makes no sense to go into details about this. That the message actually is I, I, I was of the opinion for a long time that actually the, the presence doesn't exist. Actually, future falls without, without any time into the past. This was my opinion, and so now I learn, no, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny uh, fr fraction of time where this mythical, mythical present happens. And it's just, it has to do with our consciousness. You need a consciousness for the present. If you, there is no um, thinking entity around on a planet, you have no present. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So that would be a stop gap to stop the past and continuing and stop going to far the future. You would say stop, mm -hmm. take a breath, and be a present.
the question, the, the concrete question is. <coughs> well, I just, well, those electrodes, they put 50 of those on your head to see what, where you're processing. Yeah, yeah, they just so show which parts of your brain are having some special uh, process going on. It's a chemical, electrochemical yeah. um, proce processes are constantly going on and you're thinking, concentrate, concentrated of thinking, then the, the, the energy is higher than in your sleep, for instance, depending on the state or if you just uh, lay here and let your, your uh, thoughts flow and so then you need less uh, energy. But this is just um, uh, making visible in, on a screen the activities of your brain. Yes, and Michael Kersing said, well, there was an area that would be able to spirit. Yeah, and then of course you can, uh, science, science is uh, progressing and sometime in the future you can say, ah, oh, if this, uh, there is the signal coming from here, it has to do with uh, with this kind, uh, can be an emotion or it can be fear, something like this. And ultimately, sometime in the future, scientists will find out, can can uh, visualize thinking processes. They can they can transform these occurrences here into screens. So, so I guess I'm looking for the Bill Meyer spot up here somewhere. You know. The pineal gland has to do with, with uh, you know, pineal gland has to be with, has to do with uh, so-called extrasensory perceptions or so, with, with kind of, uh, of more uh, consciousness-based capabilities, but there is a long way to go for terrestrial human beings. We, we, we will not experience these, uh, the results of uh, these, uh, research results in our life. On the edge. We are always on the edge. Science is always on the edge because it will never end. Science doesn't end as long as human beings exist on, the, on this planet or anywhere else. There will be more to know and to learn. There's no, no, no end for this. <coughs> Nice. Uh, we, uh, you're talking about being prepared and uh, learning how to live without electricity and stuff like that, uh, uh, food uh, storing, etc. Uh, are, I guess in the future, uh, coming in the future, if there are a lot of hard times that can't be avoided now, when it comes to the environment and all mm -hmm. these things. The hard times will come, it's, it's sure, it's certain. The hard times will come, much grief will come, and the, the, <coughs> it is, it, the chance is growing each year that there will be a, massi a massive, a massive uh, occurrence where a great part of the population will die it, because uh, it cannot go on endlessly with uh, overbreeding. This uh, must happen, must stop somehow and some, you know, in so some time. But of course, not uh, if there are human beings who are acting against this and lead another life and think differently and doing the peace meditation and give a counterweight, counterweight to uh, religion and so on, there will. Uh, there will be survivors uh, because uh, as we know in a prediction that far away in the, in the future there will be a return to uh, some to the better to be the better but this re will only occur if we human beings if there are human beings on this world who give counteraction who are, are working against uh, belief are fighting against uh, or, or enlightening the people give information about how it would be correct to live and to think and uh, yeah, act and to protect nature to be responsible for the future for our descendants and so on 
Ja. Uh, one of the uh, one of the concerns of the <coughs> It's never a solution to kill people to uh, have less population. That's that, that's never a humane solution. The only humane solution is to prevent babies to be procreated. If if a, an ovum is not fertilized or fertilized before the twenty-first day, and abortion is that's. The one and only method of decreasing the population is to prevent or, or to decide, no, I will not, I will have just one child, not more, or a, or a worldwide um, measure, decision by all countries to, uh, to improve to uh, follow this uh, seven years birthday check. And uh, I, I wrote an article about uh, how this could uh, be made feasible, uh, this seven year, and an article, it's on our website, it's in, in German, I think it's also, uh, 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 on the Canadian website, uh, an end to the taboo, it's, it's called, and there I, I uh, explain uh, a system that uh, you see if you have uh, seven years no child at all <coughs> it gives huge problems you don't have to have to close the school, schools teachers everything and so if you could uh, say for instance uh, families with the, with the <coughs> beginning name a to to d have this year possibility to have a child or so, something like this so every year our children are born, but all this seven-year cycle is followed. Then it would could be go, <coughs> would be <coughs> sorry feasible, but we know it's not possible because the, the population is not ready. It, it will have to be enforced, and to be to have it enforced, we need the world government, don't we? Yeah, but we, we don't have a world government because people are not ready for this. We have power at Hungary, warmongering people are at the heads of the states. And these should not have a, a world government uh, led by these, by, these, by these psychopaths. And so, no, that would be not a good idea. So it's, uh, we have to face reality and see in Switzerland, for instance, it's the, the only democracy, democracy on this planet. It's a half, actually, it's a half democracy. You would have, depending on the population, figure with all of them, or the, the majority of them, to uh, accept figure, figure's teaching, and then uh, to realize it, and then... It, but it's only Switzerland. Switzerland, if... Uh, is uh, decreasing the population. Actually, there we have immigration, and so there is no decrease. 
now if uh, only there will be no immigrants coming to Switzerland, we, our population is already declining it's in numbers. And Ger Germany also, and Italy, because uh, the population, the women in, uh, in the birth, in the age where they can um, have birth, uh, is below the 1.1, 2.1 factor. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. no, no, also killing, but it's, it's, you could, uh, I could bet, if I, if I would like to, there will be quite brutal measures coming sometime in the future. And that Billy had three times had a vision. I don't know if you know about it, he had a, he had a vision that the whole Populations. There are plans to to kill entire populations by uh, some viruses or, or bacteria that will attack certain types of genetic structure in people. There are already uh, uh, with research going on, so you could you could change the bacteria to attack certain, because all the races, uh, the populations on this planet have different genetic outlook, uh, characteristics. characteristics, characteristics, and then if you develop viruses or bacteria that which attack exactly these uh, variations, variations, then you can you can uh, kill whole countries. If you, for instance, if you if you take a virus that only attacks the Chinese Chinese uh, population, uh, because they have the, they have some different uh, genetic uh, parts, because they look different than I I look here. So if you can uh, attack them somehow research is going on, then, but this, of course, this is very secretly going on. And this is a, is a possibility that we must have in, in, in our background, and so we have to, so it makes sense to watch science, science information, what's going on in science, and so what could be the possibilities that they have achieved, and so, and so it's a, it's, to have an open mind, it's important. Chances are rather high that the killing will go into this direction sometime in the future. I don't think, no, no. But you're next. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, it, it's a... Uh, that's, that's the... After me, the, the, the deluge, the deluge. After me, the flood, flood. No, 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 doesn't work. That's also a, that's also a very uh, important factor. Uh, if people would understand that their next personality has to come in in a in a wasted or damaged planet, would give another perspective for a foreign leading their life this time. Yeah? Um, just commenting on that, because you believe that there's a the population and people that would be exterminated. Wouldn't it be easier with all the empty planets in the universe to just develop the, the, the rockets to immigrate to another planet and make that habitable instead of fighting over this one planet? There's so many empty planets there, there's no need developing a way to integrate another planet 
But you have to know. You have to know before you can leave this planet. There's a lot of work to do. It, then you have to find. You have to find planets that uh, enable populations to live. And there are not so many. And then you have to develop time, time travel because uh, you, these planets are so far away that you have to to use time travel high, faster than light speed and. That what would be, uh, of course, would not be uh, positive is in our state here. If we, if our population goes out, the same, the same bad things are happening. That overpopulation will on the next. Po you have the same, all the same problems. You have war because our population here on this planet is warlike. At least the, the people in, in the governments. All these tiger pets in the higher, higher, um, higher offices all over the world, like the military, the secret organizations. First, we will have we have to be a, become a peaceful, peaceful population on this planet, have no war, and then we will go out. And actually, it looks like. The time when we can leave the solar system will come when we are less warmongering on this planet and when, he, when our population has decreased considerably. And uh, of course, 529 million is, is the ideal, ideal number, but it would be a great relief already if there were two, two billion only. If two billion only human beings would live on this planet and if we would start now with this decrease with these measures about the prohibiting birth or only allowing birth to under certain conditions this would lead over a hun hundreds of years because of the generations and so this is uh, anyway uh, the, 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 the big ship cannot be stopped in a second when it goes over the ocean. And so we are already already uh, too near the iceberg to, 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 to uh, stop just a, a millimeter before, before you hit. It, there will be crashes on and on. And the more, the longer nothing is, be done, is, is done against the problematic uh, about against these problems, the, the bigger, the bigger the, the oh. devastation will be. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there is a basic a misunderstanding possibly. Uh, see, Billy does not. Uh, Sorry. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Billy doesn't promote uh, the uh, eradication of people through uh, poisoning. Uh, this is something. Yeah, or genetic manipulation. This is not what uh, is being. Post. I think uh, you, you might have misunderstood what uh, Christian was talking about. What Christian is talking about is what Billy proposes is that there, uh, the only humane way to uh, bring our population in balance is through birth control. And, and yes, birth control. Not through, uh, not through uh, genetic uh, manipulation and causing viruses and this, this is what he saw that the scientists, the scientists three said. visions he had three visions just in a row in a short time three visions about the future uh, like this unfolding with such uh, with such outrageous uh, measures. Hydras, yeah. measures 
and, uh, and so it's, it's a warning. It's actually a warning. It's a vision. It's not a prediction. He didn't say it's a prediction, but uh, it's possible if you, if you look at the genetic uh, mo modifications and everything that's done already with, uh, uh, with uh, already also with um, birth, birth um, uh, genetic interference uh, with, uh, with the fertilized uh, ovums and everything with birth uh, enhancement and AIDS and so AIDS as a help it's, uh, it's going into this direction. It, it's, for me it's not uh, impossible that this will happen. And so it's, uh, it must be understood as a warning, as a warning. So people uh, who, who have heard this uh, may take action and if scientists, scientists know this vision perhaps they in their field where they work they can uh, try to stop these, these uh, manipulations and bring them to public so this uh, is intended as a warning You have to learn, if you want to drive a car, you have to learn, have a license, but this is easy, driving, driving actually, there are some people have problems, they have to uh, repeat, repeat the, the exami examination and so, but the most difficult, the most um, requiring or, or forwarding the, the, the most difficult or uh, most future orientated uh, task is educate children and, and guarantee that they may start with a life that they can develop and realize self responsibility to stand on their own feet when they are beyond uh, teenager age. That's the, um, the mo it's a very difficult task and people people think oh it's it's the birth I, all an alcoholic doesn't matter each person has the free the free um, right has the right to put as many children into into life even if they have to sleep on the street if they are addicted to drugs and they are born and if they are they are neglected they are beaten and they are um, mutilated and uh, all this this is actually the crucial part why everything goes down to the drain because the parents are not schooled are not educated they are just uh, repeating the, the, the false mistakes from their parents they are uh, they are on their own uh, they have never learned uh, it's this kind of it's actually a teacher, a teacher has to study, uh, a school teacher has to study for years to teach to children. If, if he doesn't have a license, he may not teach. But all adults and teenagers are, have the right, have the right to, to, to um, yes. produce babies. Produce babies and this is, uh, it, it's, it's not right, it's not correct and this should be all changed actually. It would be logical and intelligent to have uh, courses and all the people all this must start at the young age already as I, as, I, as I said children must realize ah so in this way you produce produce babies and babies have these uh, development stages and dying all life is dying and you should not pre hide everything 
every thought of dying, say, oh, my child, I must protect it from this, from this, uh, from the thought. It's a reality. Everything must die. Every animal must die. Everything is, is uh, perishable, perishable, perishable. Perish. Yeah. And so this, uh, there must be a learning phase from birth. You must talk correctly with your small child because uh, you must not speak with it, uh, uh, look at the child as a stupid uh, uh, being. And so it must start from after birth, you have to speak with the child intelligently, intelligently but you can, of course, you can cozy, use cozy names and so that's, that's okay. But uh, children must be prepared on life, the coming, what they have in front, so that they may, as I said, become, they have the chance to have to being brought up without drugs, without alcohol, to use their talents. If they are not good at, at mathematics, they have other strengths, and then these are enforced, and people should be able to build up uh, optimism, build up uh, um, thinking of real awareness of their strengths, and should build up on these, and be realizing that they are part of, of nature and of the planet and that they are a part of the of humankind and it's it's endless actually. It's a huge task, you know? Can you ask what the other two visions were? Three times the same. Of the same little It's not just once. And he had quite an uh, a number of visions. He had a vision also that he was shot that several times, I think three times he had a dream that someone would shoot him here into the breast and so he was able, he heeded this because he knew he had some, he has some warnings because he's very sensible to these, these kinds of warnings and so he was able to put his the metal plate here on his breast and then really he was shot at through the, the his notebook in the pocket and then on the on this and this metal and so he was he survived because he had listened to his his uh, issues and this was not just once a vision he didn't he didn't specify how, in what situation it just came into his mind as a vision he has had visions uh, already many visions because he his uh, his consciousness he can uh, uh, can co is quite uh, quite sensitive to external uh, external uh, impulses mm -hmm. twenty three Uh, no, uh, telemetrics don't protect. Uh, there are some, uh, all, nearly all of these were he was capable of uh, surviving because, exactly, because he was sensing, he had developed this in his youth to, because if someone comes, wants to shoot him, this person is thinking and is uh, sending out wave forms. And, Obviously, he was able to sense, and so in the moment when the other shot, he, he had a, had a, a, a tearing, a tearing uh, here in his back, and so he moved. So sometimes it was like this, and sometimes once once he was prepared with this metal plate because he dreamed it about three times in advance. So uh, this was an but Once he wasn't prepared, so he was lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, many, many predictions, and uh, we always feel that we, we, we learn about them after the fact, after time has passed, and we hear that these are the predictions. But he did say that there would be two uh, civil wars in the United States coming up. 
possibility of civil war starting sometimes after 2020. Yeah, on, on earthquakes and so, but uh, many of these predictions are more into the future, more into the future, and some were prophecies. Uh, he prophesied that the Pope will be killed, and he really he was shot at. This was a, but a Jew, since it was a, there was a movement, a movement that um, uh, prevented that the Pope was killed directly into the heart, I think. Mm -hmm. And so he missed, he missed it, but uh, the happening, it happened, but not um, quite 100%. What was not 100% successful, but most of the predictions, or the many predictions, are yet to be realized. We come, like uh, the, uh, the Portland earthquake there, so, yeah. In Portland, there, there will be a huge tsunami will occur in the Portland, Vancouver re region, yeah. or, uh, out in the, in, the, in the sea below. Uh, there, there will be a, a, an earthquake of, of a, at least nine point on the Richter scale. That's then really heavy. And then a huge, yeah, I, I think. Yeah. It will not be too far. I don't think it will be too far into the future, because it, it's it's overdue, long overdue. This earthquake. I read a, an interesting article about this in the New Yorker uh, last time when I was here in Canada. And uh, yeah, there has been the same happened about 400 years ago in the same region. And now they found out that this has been happened. It was a tsunami that both Japan and the West Coast hit very badly. And so uh, they found out now why there was a, a forest, a forest uh, a die, uh, uh, had died uh, three or four hundred years ago. And there were, there were uh, reports from the Native American about this this incident and there were people were, were uh, vanishing in this uh, in this uh, huge tsunami pick up uh, but this, it is known that's the ring of fire the pacific ring of fire goes around and then of course there will be the, the san francisco devastation will be and uh, uh, i think uh, when stevens wrote and he said he saw that uh, the cars had no Side window, windows, and if uh, this uh, automatic car business goes on and on, they don't need a back, a back a side, a side mirror, and then could be then. And then there are still cars. There are still cars. It's not vehicle flying around, so it must be in the not too far future. Yeah. So we will be to some wars. Is that a or is that a there was, uh, it, uh, you know, if you look at politics now in the United States, uh, there's all, also beginnings, already beginnings of this. You have all kinds of populations against the other. There is so much hate and and um, quarreling. Uh, not you don't listen to uh, good arguments, logical. If a Republican says this, it's bad anyway. It could be a good. Uh, Suggestion and vice versa. There are, there are, there's much hate, hate between huge uh, groups of population. There are many weapons around, many weapons, and so uh, very uh, many radical people. And then you have religion, and religion is also a, a force, is also a, a fire in in the gasoline because. Uh, Religious people tends to, uh, if you read the Old Testament, read the Old Testament, eye for an eye and tooth for a tooth, and so this is uh, deeply, deeply within, within, uh, within people. Many people are thinking like this, like in Israel, for instance, in Palestine, they also are acting like this. They don't find out from this circle, sweetiosus, devils circle so uh, if you are 
always uh, remain caught in the revenge revenge circle, then will be no progress. And so it looks, it looks very much looks that this will uh, occur, perhaps not slowly. I don't see. I, I don't think there will be. And then there's the war. It will be like everything, like terrorists. Terrorism on this planet is also a development. It's also a development. And the chance is really here that this will occur. And perhaps it's civil war is not exactly like, uh, like uh, armies. Perhaps not one army from the East Coast with an army from the West Coast. It uh, can be dif different between the Hispanics are driven out or killed or like or racism. There is all still racism. It's be between races. I don't know. I, I don't know um, the United States uh, enough, well enough. So. Uh, I just realized that there is much hatred, much uh, aggression going on between, underneath the patriotism. All the Americans most are standing up and uh, when they see the flag, but then there's the patriotism and then below it's, it's foul, I think. The same situation is in Europe. It's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and this has to do that uh, the, the governments don't take serious the, the, the needs of the population. They are uh, doing their own business up there. People don't, don't have anything to say in all the countries. You just elect persons, figures into the governments and then they do their business up there and people haven't has any say in anything what's going on. It's not the, actually the people is the, the sovereign People should decide and, and the government should execute what the people are saying. And this is, except for Switzerland, this is nowhere happening. Yeah. So this gives frustration. And if you see, you have problems, everybody sees in his lo uh, local with these immigrants. Merkel decided on herself against the the Verfassung. Constitution, against the Constitution, she decided she decide to let in without any control these over, over a million people from another cultural background. And they, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was actually uh, an act, an Staatsstreich. It's a, an act of, of, that was not not correct, and she, she had, was not uh, taken for a, you know, in the court for this. Mm. Mm. No. Yeah, I was on the radio. I listened to it. There was a fair bit of protection that most big countries will just break apart the smaller units to deal with. As you were saying, you get too much bureaucracy. They don't be all a bureaucracy. You just need a smaller, manageable country. That's why the U.S. is going to do that pragmatic thing in Europe, glue it all together, and let's start to fall apart. You can't jerk with country around like Greece and people not observe that. Mm -hmm. It's like, what well, well, SCM are you running? Actually, if the United States would withdraw all their, their military from everywhere on the world and take care of their own country to repair all their streets, and there are so many poor people in America, and, and so many much dollars, many dollars are spent for military, for inter interfering in other countries, and all these things, if they would really look for their own business, Many problems in the world would would uh, be cap would would could could be addressed, which is not not the case because underneath American interests 
or um, or um, hindering or preventing for uh, good developments to occur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, sure. yeah, yeah. You you see you see how many and how many countries you have. You have military from the United States compared to Russia. If you compare this, where and where have they inter intervened? Intervened in how many countries compared to Russia? But the threat on this world is Russia, not the United States. Everybody could see this, but uh, the media doesn't want to see this. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I noticed that uh, President, President Trump and Putin uh, put the end of that Syrian war. So at the end of next week, Syria will be a country unto itself, and all those refugees can move back home. This will be the solution: peace in in Syria, and the refugees go back and build up, build up their country. This, um, but the, all this mess started. Be, because the England and the United States in, uh, interfered, interfered in Iraq. Yeah. They have later have destabilized Libya. They have removed the, the government because there was some, some order. Now it's a mess. The same happened in Iraq, in Afghanistan. And the same, they wanted to do the same with Syria, but then the Russians came in because they were legally asked for by Syria. And uh, yeah, but uh, of course, Assad regime is uh, is a criminal regime. That's o o okay, of course, but that's that's another thing. So I, I just had a, a more mundane uh, question, but uh, you were mentioning something about coffee. That it's you know many people drink coffee, so it might be interesting to find yeah. out about coffee. Who knows? Who knows? They all of. Just recently, Da said uh, coffee is healthy, but only real coffee, not tea, tea coffee. Or tea coffee. That's that's very detrimental to to health because uh, because tea coffee, tea coffee, the process is done and the green beans the extraction is a very it's a very uh, poisonous substance. And so uh, you should never, uh, you should not drink tea cough, tea cough, tea cough. Uh, and uh, you could take, uh, I think this uh, information will be in the contact block uh, 16 then, you will find it. Um, you can easily drink eight, six, eight, nine cups of one dec deciliter a day. At, at over a day, and this he's, he also said that it's uh, it's healthy. Coffee is healthy, and uh, at, and that um, if you cannot sleep, this uh, is uh, usually if someone who drinks uh, a lot of coffee. This is uh, has to do with your mind. But uh, if if someone is drinking coffee just once or twice, some not is a regular coffee drinker then this can be really happen that um, you cannot sleep well or start sleeping well. But basically, coffee is a, is, is a good product and contrary to what is said by terrestrial nourishing expert, food experts, it's a, you can drink without any remorse and without bad conscience. So. Beer. There's no, no information. Uh, no, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. No, no, no. Actually, actually, alcohol. Actually, alcohol is not need. The human being needs no alcohol. No. And beer is uh, has quite a number of alcohol and calories, and so you you are getting a. Yeah, bell, a belly, and so and it, they said also that uh, too much beer slows down your thinking process. And yeah. now uh, they also found glyphosate in uh, the beer in, in Germany. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Yeah. Did they say what in coffee specifically the properties are or what how benefits there are? Coffee. Coffee, and there are quite a number of substances in coffee. And what actual health benefits? Longevity, uh, uh, it can make your life a little bit longer. That's also information. But 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 I uh, but you should not. Uh, I I don't have all the details in my in my memory because I don't drink coffee and I don't have. I, I don't think I'll start now drinking coffee. I don't like it except with sugar and, and cream. So, yeah. Uh, I, I have another question about war. Uh, Billy said there were only 250 years without war in the history of humans. The last 10,000 years. 10,000 years? Yeah. 10,000 years. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start packing up, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. Okay. We are going to continue with going over to uh, the Red Door, which is at 444 Spencer. <laughs> Everybody's welcome. No reservations were made, so let's see how we can do. Uh, we have to be out of here by 4.30. 10 minutes. Thank you. Good.